Hi kids! Today we will learn about the process by which green plants make their own food. So let's start! Plants are the only living things that produce their own food. We humans get our food from plants or animals. Animals get their food from plants or other animals. But plants are the living organisms that make their own food and are called producers. And all the other living beings are consumers. Let's see how these plants prepare their own food. The process by which plants make their own food is called photosynthesis. Let's learn it. Roots of the plants absorb water from soil that already has many dissolved minerals and salts in it. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. This water with dissolved minerals and salts moves up to the stem. Stem has veins for moving water up the plant to every branch and leaf of plant. Leaf. Yes, leaf is the part of the plant where food for the plant is prepared, and the process by which food is prepared by plants is called photosynthesis. Let's learn about it more. The way we need ingredients to make any food, same way plants need some ingredients to make their food. What do we need to prepare food? We need fruits or vegetables, oils and spices to make our food. And we also need energy in the form of heat. It can be an oven. It can be a gas stove. Similarly. Plants require water, nutrients, carbon dioxide, and presence of chlorophyll, and also some energy that is sunlight to prepare their food. Now let's learn about each ingredient the plants need to prepare their food. First is the sunlight. It is the energy. Leaves get this energy during the daytime from sunlight Leaves always face towards the sun so as to receive maximum sunlight. 2. Water and nutrients. Plants get water and nutrients from the soil. Roots absorb the water and nutrients from the soil, and the stem transports this water, salts, and minerals to every part of the plant through veins inside the stem. Then is the carbon dioxide. Leaves get carbon dioxide from the surrounding air and it enters the leaves through the small openings in leaves called stoma or stomata. Stomata are very small structures on the outer surface of a leaf. They consist of two specialized cells called guard cells that surround a tiny pore called a stoma. Next ingredient is the chlorophyll. It is a green pigment which is present in the leaves. And this green pigment, chlorophyll, helps the plant to trap the sunlight. So kids, these are the ingredients required by the green plants or leaves to make their food and the process is called photosynthesis. The process is written as carbon dioxide plus water and minerals in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. It forms glucose, water, and oxygen. This prepared food is stored in various forms, in the form of fruits, in the form of vegetables, in the form of different parts of plants that we can eat. So in this process, plants use carbon dioxide, water, minerals in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to make glucose, which is stored as eatable parts of the plant. 
and also release some water in the form of water vapors and oxygen in the air. All fruits, vegetables, and different parts of the plant that we eat are prepared by plants with the process of photosynthesis. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Kids, do you know plants and animals are dependent on each other? Let's see how. All animals and humans need plants for their food and also for breathing as plants provide oxygen, which all living things need to breathe. But plants too need animals and humans. Let's see how. All plants need carbon dioxide to breathe in, like we need oxygen to breathe in. And carbon dioxide is provided to plants by all animals and humans. As we breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide, and this carbon dioxide is used by plants. Also, animals help to spread the seed of plants and trees. As animals eat fruits and vegetables and throw away their seeds at distant places, and new plants grow at those places. Also, seeds of plants get attached to the skin of animals, and as these animals move, seeds reach different locations, and thus it helps in growth of new plants. So, animals provide carbon dioxide to plants. Plants provide oxygen to animals. Plants provide food to animals. And animals help to grow more plants. So kids, today we learn how plants prepare their own food and how animals and plants are interdependent on each other. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.